Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sermons from My Heart. This is Craig Condon speaking. This message is a children's message entitled, Seeing and Believing. It's based on John chapter 20, verses 19 to 31, and this passage is part of the message. Hello boys and girls. Has anyone ever told you something that was so amazing that you could not believe it? Sometimes people like to tell us things that we can't believe. For example, some people might have told you that there is no such thing as the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. Have any of you ever heard of a book called Ripley's Believe It or Not? The man who wrote it enjoyed collecting stories that were unbelievable but true. For example, a young girl from California once swung 68 hula hoops on her body at the same time. A man once had a chicken that laid a square egg. The world's largest hot dog was over 3,000 feet long, weighed 885 pounds, and took 103 butchers to carry it. As I just mentioned, these stories are hard to believe, but they are true. Even the Bible has stories in it that are true, even though they are hard to believe. For example, Thomas, the disciple, refused to believe the other disciples when they told him that they had seen the risen Savior. He was not with the other disciples in the room when they saw Jesus on the first Easter night. He refused to believe them until he could see Jesus in person. One week later, all of the disciples, including Thomas, were in the same room when they saw Jesus again. Jesus knew that Thomas needed proof of his resurrection, and that's why he invited Thomas to put his finger in the nail holes in his hands and the spear hole in his side. Only then did Thomas believe. Some people are like that today. They refuse to believe that Jesus rose from the dead because they have not seen him with their own eyes. They want concrete proof. On the other hand, all of us know that Jesus rose from the dead because we believe it in faith. We do not need to see it with our own eyes. We have faith in Jesus' promise that he would rise from the dead. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes for a moment of prayer. Dear God, Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Give us the faith we need to accept the resurrection by faith. We ask this in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sermons from My Heart. The text of this sermon, as well as the text of other sermons I have preached, can be found on my website, www.sermonsfrommyheart.com Comments and suggestions are always welcome. You can leave the comments on the website or you can leave them on the Sermons from My Heart Facebook page. Until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.